How's everybody doing today? Welcome to another tutorial video from Social Boomin. Um, today, my name is Taylor Keen, and today we're going to talk about with lists in HubSpot, for instance. If you are uh, have a bunch of contacts and say you've had your customers filtered out correctly, there is a potential, like when you filter on the main contact screen right here, that you can only filter to a certain degree. So lists are going to allow you to filter more granular with your campaigns and uh, really um, uh, create exclusions for maybe one-offs or software service companies um, that have a, <clears throat> a one-off fee or maybe something that doesn't need to be updated, things like that. So um, for instance, if you were going to have, say you had your customers, but within HubSpot, you have to pay for marketing contacts. Um, and how many of those contacts you have. But if you wanted to not make those people marketing contacts anymore and you really wanted to, you know, you're pretty deep in the game, you've been having uh, data come in for a while. And how do you kind of fix that? Because, you know, maybe you have customers that are in like an exit workflow, for instance, um, and they get a series of emails for a certain amount of weeks or something. And then you want to set them as a marketing contact. But what about all the people before that? Um, so there's a couple ways you can do it. But doing it on this main screen is basically impossible. Uh, like you can filter, you can do a decent amount of filtering, but to do what I'm talking about, where we filter customers with a workflow, um, like a, through a completed workflow or still in the process, it's going to have to be done with lists. Now, lists are just going to be uh, in the top left up here. If you go to the contact screen and then click lists on the bottom left, you can then create a list. Um, we have a lot of lists created, but um, you can create a list right here and we'll call it test list for this tutorial. And then what you could do is add a filter to your list. So you could do customers. Let's see here. Always list membership. So we have a list for customers and there's a couple, you could do this a couple of different ways, but you can see that there's already a lot more options with these filters and the filters out there. So you can do a and or statement, get out a filter within that specific list. Um, but you have to filter with another list. So you could make like a list of, uh, people who completed the workflow or, but this is a little easier just to do with the and filter, the one right below it. So if you click on that and filter, you can then scroll to workflow enrollment, which is not available on the contact main page. And then what you can do is select your workflow. So if you knew what your workflow was, you could do, um, let's see, welcome, welcome new contacts. Oh yeah, to say it was this one. Then you could filter the workflow by this drop down right here. So contact is currently active, contact isn't currently active in the workflow, um, contact has completed workflow, contact has never completed workflow. So if you generated, you know, contact has completed workflow, preview your list, you could save your list and then your list would be available when you go back to lists right here. I'm not going to save this list. I'll even show you a um, a completed one that kind of shows it a little easier. So for this one, we have Epic Will Customer is any of yes, workflow status. Um, they've completed the Epic Will Welcome workflow. So if they completed our welcome workflow and that's the exit flow, um, then, which is not the case actually in this campaign, but uh then what you could do is select all, click on the 25 contacts of this page are selected, select all 3,876, and then you can easily set as marketing contacts or set as non-marketing contacts. Um, you could enroll them in a workflow. So it kind of just gives you a lot more, a uh, lot easier way to be able to leverage um, how you want to segment your campaigns or data and things like that and also how to mass select um because if you are on that home page and trying to do this you'd just be like what is going on like how, why can't i you know filter this but hopefully this helps with your hubspot journey and even though hubspot um can be super simple it really just depends on 
can be extremely complicated or simple. So there's um, a lot of in between there. And um, I've seen it when with apps being needed to be connected and purchases that are happening with website apps and their CMS is in HelpSpot and you're um, we're trying to run like conversion lead ads. And then we have eventually we're going to try to run um, catalog advantage plus campaigns. And it's funny just how, when you really all get it together and you're like, all right, I'm going to make my CRM con con uh, connect with Facebook. And then I'm going to also have my app connect to Facebook and our payment processor and then external IDs between um, HubSpot and Stripe. And it just can get crazy. So hopefully this helps you. If you have any questions ever, let me know, reach out. Um, we would be happy to hop on a call with you, Chris or myself, and uh, yeah, help you uh, with all your marketing efforts. So uh, let us know if you like the video in the comments below. If you have any specific videos that you want us to go over or make um, within you know, YouTube, Facebook, HubSpot, uh, CRMs, um, yeah, Meta in general, I guess, <laughs> um, we have got your back. So thank you for tuning in. See you again soon.